Good. <coughs> Good evening. We're going to talk about the Samsung 8.0, wait, Samsung Android 8.0 beta. It came out today and as of right now, the only phones that it's compatible with is the S8, S8 Plus on T-Mobile and Sprint carriers or an unlocked device with a SIM card in there from either one of those carriers. You need to have a Samsung account, and even if you didn't want this beta, I would still encourage you to get a Samsung account because there's a lot of stuff that Samsung is gradually attaching to the Samsung accounts. You access the beta program through Samsung Plus. Let's take a look at some of the new things that they've kind of like sprinkled in there. Running apps will be shown in the notification bar. Also, I've noticed that if an app is accessing a particularly sensitive permission, it will tell you in the notification bar up there. Other app icons will be shown on the bottom of the notification panel for the rest of them that aren't shown. Like, so if you have a ton of notifications and they won't all fit when you pull it down, it'll show you the icons of the other applications that you have notifications from, which I really like. Also, we're getting tap and hold shortcuts for supported apps. So for example, if you're using a messaging app or the Play Store, if it's downloading something, if it has downloaded something, and the tapping and holding will bring up that little menu and I love that they attach this little thing to there. If you have multiple notifications for one app, they'll be cleared individually when swiped to the side just like a miniaturized version of the regular notification shade. They did mention dual Samsung Messenger accounts, but I don't really know what that means and I didn't really investigate to find out. You can now upload any file to Samsung Cloud, treating it like Google Drive or Dropbox. So it's, it's Samsung establishing their own, their own homegrown service for cloud storage of any file you choose. Now the unread badges are synchronized with the notification bar notifications. So if you have an app downloading or if you've downloaded an app, it will actually show an unread badge of number one on the Play Store icon. We now have landscape mode for clock, so you can Turn your clock sideways. They've really made the edge panel look a hell of a lot better than it did before. I think it looks a lot cleaner, a lot more refined. They say that background services are managed more efficiently. Now, I haven't seen this firsthand because I just downloaded it and installed it today, but we'll see what battery life is like in the future. Now, with the regular version of Samsung's TouchWiz, as far as the S8 and on are concerned, whenever you would tap and hold on an application, whether it's in your app drawer or on the home screen, a little white menu would pop up and the options were great, but the size of those options was terrible. It's like, uh, let me squint and uh, uninstall, oh, dang it, I meant to just get rid of the shortcut. Stuff like that. Now they have made those bigger and it's, a, it's something that I really wanted them to improve in any additional version of it. Also, the recent cards are all the same color at the top. They used to change the color of the tops of the cards in the recent apps screen in accordance to the main color theme of whatever app that was. Now they have them all white, but they show the little bitty icon and then a regular title. This, to me, makes it way easier to shift back and forth between or find the application that you're trying to reopen. And one of my favorites is that YouTube minimizes into a small window <clears throat> when you hit the home button. And when you tap it, it shows, it gets a little bit bigger and shows the player pause options. Also, that little headphone icon, if you press that, then it will get rid of the floating window, but still keep it playing in the notification shade. Now, I have YouTube Red, and I have not tried this on a non, on a account that is not subscribed to YouTube Red, so I don't know if the features are going to be the same or not, because YouTube's kind of weird about a video or audio from the video playing while the app is not open, but we'll, we'll figure that out soon. Also, in skating around through this OS version, I've noticed just the animations, they look, they're, they're not drastically different, but they just look a little bit better. There's something aesthetically ple more pleasing about how that all whoosh, 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 goes back. You can also tap and hold the edge panel to reposition it. So if you want to like, just like tap hold and then move it down, if you're like, oh, I'm gonna move this down. It's just a nice little convenience thing they added in there. Also something that I'm sure has bothered more than just me is whenever you have a series of multiple notifications in quick succession, like from a messaging app or from Allo or for something like that. What is it, kitty? You'll get notification and then notification, notification that'll all cover each other instead of like, duh, 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 duh. not anymore. Now they actually stack up 
as you get more from the same app, and that's such a blessing. Oh, look at that. For those of you who do meet the criteria of having either T-Mobile or Sprint or an unlocked phone with a, either a T-Mobile or Sprint SIM card inside them, inside the phone, that is. <laughs> Kitty, there's nothing in that ceiling, I promise you. There is an application that you can download where you can report any bug you want. Pretty much any bug you want. And you just go in and follow the prompts and then pick your category and pick whether or not it happens a lot. And yada yada yada. And then it shows you all of the bugs that you've reported too. So you don't end up reporting the same one over and over and over again. I really like that they have this because they're like, hey, tell us what needs to be fixed instead of just like, oh, hey, here's the beta. Feel special. Good job. No, they actually give you an opportunity to give them feedback, and I really hope that they listen to me about the group me thing, because it's kind of important for work. I was stupendously stokeified to learn that, having T-Mobile myself, I was eligible for the beta program. So that is the first look at the Experience 9.0 beta for Oreo, Android 8.0, which should be included in the S9, or what I hear, but yeah, that's, that, don't, don't quote me on that one. More data will probably be in the works if I find something else out that's like super stupendously awesome. You might be able to just catch me saying it on Snapchat or something. But in the meantime, stay beaming!